Hey, uh, this is just a quick little tutorial on exporting from the uh, more recent versions of Maya, which are 2012 and 2013. Um, you could also uh, do this for 2011, um, otherwise you can just try to use the uh, plugin. Um, but what I recommend for these uh, recent versions is to actually export your file as an FBX and then use an FBX converter to convert it to a Colada or DAE file. And I'm gonna do this basically because uh, the more recent versions of Maya are using a more updated um, version of Colada. So, uh, you know, if you try to just export it like that, you're gonna get some errors, particularly if you're doing um, something with multiple textures uh, faces like this, uh, as I have a texture face for the coat and then another one for the uh, shirt underneath. And also, um, you may also get some trouble with uh, rigged items, um, you know, with it doing things like, uh, you know, doubling or tripling your poly count when you try to upload it to Second Life um, and other kind of weird things happening. So I would just recommend doing this just to be safe um, with all your models. And I'm just doing it uh, with a rigged item here, just, you know, for the sake of showing you uh, the steps for this, which isn't really much different, but I'll show you anyway. So all we really have to do is just go to Window, and I'm going to go to Settings Preferences, and I'm going to go to Plugin Manager, and then I'm just going to make sure that our FBX Maya dot bundle is checked for loaded, and I just have it on auto load, and then just refresh it and close, and now you can just select your model to export it, or uh, in this case. Um, so because it's a rigged item, I'm just going to also select the uh, pelvis joint, which is the root of the hierarchy here. And so now I'm just going to go up to File, Export Selection, and then uh, from our drop down menu, just want to select FBX F Export, not the DAE FBX. So I'll just export it as an FBX, and you can name it whatever you like. Coat. And just export that. And then what we need to do is download our FBX converter from the Maya site, uh, which I have the link posted here for you. And I'm gonna show you that now. And so here on the uh, site for Autodesk, um, I'm just gonna scroll down. And you can see we have the, up here we have the FBX plugins. Um, and I wanna go down here to the FBX converter, not the plugin and then just pick the one that's right for your computer for Windows or Mac and then once you have that downloaded and installed you just open that up and so once you have your FBX converter open uh, I'm just going to take my FBX file I just exported and I'm just going to drag it over here into the uh, left panel here and you can drag multiple items if you want to do 10 at once that's fine um, and you can select you know which ones you want specifically to do if you just want to do individually from the list and then I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to set the destination format to DAE Colada so I'll just set that and convert and this should just take a second or two um, and then once it's done you'll just have a DAE file right here that's uh, ready to be uploaded to Second Life unless you need to change your scale, like if you're working in centimeters like I like to do. Otherwise, you're all set. 